Welcome to Rad Recaps. For today's video, we will be recapping a film named It Came From The Desert. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. 67 years after a colossal asteroid crash, a top secret science experiment was carried out on the DNA extracted from the crash site. Tragically, this experiment went wrong, and what appeared from the depths of these labs were huge mutant ants. The ants savagely made their way through the site of this experiment, killing everybody in sight. Now in the present day, we see a couple of people arrive to the base of this secret experiment, looking to steal valuable materials from inside. Unbeknownst to them, their fate is promptly awaiting them. As they begin their expedition inside, they are quickly met with a mutant ant, killing them both after a quick chase. Close by to this military base, a character named Brian is introduced. We can see he's watching a film called The Eradicator. It's about a hero who kills bugs. Judging by the huge poster on his wall and his insightful gaze of it, it's clear his dream is to be a similar type of hero. Suddenly, the garage door swings open, his friend Lucas enters. Lucas and Brian are both top-tier motocross athletes, so they've planned a weekend away of motocross and partying. As they're driving through town, it becomes clear that something is wrong. There are various missing person posters plastered around the town walls and lampposts, but this doesn't garner their attention. On the way, they pick up Lisa. It becomes clear that she is Brian's crush. As they drive through the desert, Lucas gets out of his seat, climbs on top of the roof, and performs an incredible stunt. He jumps off the back of the moving car in an attempt to catch up with his friends in the distance. When they arrive to the desert party, the two boys are confronted by a man with an odd-looking backpack on. It's told it's a homemade alcohol dispenser. They are promptly poured a drink. Brian tries to work up the nerve to speak to Lisa, but it's clear he's too shy. Lucas tries to persuade him to make his move, but just as he's about to, another man begins speaking to her. His momentary confidence is lost, causing him to solemnly walk himself out of the situation, with Lucas later catching him up. Just below the two boys is a secret cave, discovered by Lucas. They make their way toward it. They eventually enter the cave and come out the other side. It's led them to some sort of abandoned, run-down facility, the fence of which has been ripped open. Lucas makes his way through. He convinces Brian also, who at first is apprehensive about such an idea. As the boys make their way inside, we see that Lisa is attempting to find them. Cutting back to the boys, we see Lucas looking around various empty rooms, the technology of which is a very high level. As they wander deeper into the base, they find themselves entering a laboratory, the middle of which has some sort of nest covered in a web-like material. Lucas moves closer to it and dips his hand in what appears to be an egg. He's disgusted by the slimy substance that covers his hand. A piercing noise suddenly rings through the ears of the boys. Terrified, they see a huge mutant ant. They sprint away into a nearby kitchen, where they shut the door and begin to hide. During this time, however, Lisa starts calling Lucas, wondering where they are. The boys exemplify the details of the creature they just witnessed and ask for her to send help. Tragically, as he's assisting her with directions to the facility, his phone runs out of charge. With no other choice, the boys decide they have to fight the creature. Comically, for their weapon of choice, Lucas picks up a frying pan and Brian a spatula. They begin creeping round, attempting to find the mutant ant. That's until, behind them, a metal shelf falls down, creating a loud noise which the ant is attracted to. As the ant begins to move into the kitchen, the boys are hiding for their lives behind a kitchen counter. Thankfully, however, the ant starts to exit. But it's not over yet. After Lucas opens a beer in celebration that the ant has left, the ant promptly turns back around, finding them behind the counter, and now begins to chase them. As Brian witnesses Lucas nearly being killed by the ant, Brian decides to try and distract it. It lures him into a mechanical locking door. He manages to trap the ant in there, but the doors close slowly. As the doors move in, the ant manages to grab Brian by his leg and attempts to pull him into the room with him. Lucas tries to prevent Brian from being pulled in, but his attempts are failing. With a stroke of luck, Lisa appears behind the ant with an axe and impales it to death, saving the boys. The group realize that the weird slimy substance which covered Lucas's hand earlier was the blood of the ants. Unfortunately for them, this blood clearly sends a distress signal to other ants, because now, there are multiple surrounding its dead body. As the group notices the other ants, they make a run for it, eventually making their way into a CCTV room. 
footage appears on the TV. It's a scientist named Dr. Renard. He informs anyone who would potentially see this video about these secret science experiments which have been going on. He states that in order for the ants to reproduce, ethanol is required. Realizing the amount of alcohol they have at the party, they attempt to make their way back there to save everybody from the mutant ants. Cutting back to the party, a man makes his way to the bar to consume more alcohol. In the corner of his eye, he strangely notices a beer container being dragged away. Confused, he checks on what's causing this, only then for him to be greeted by a mutant ant, which is glugging the beer from the container. He dies instantly as the ant launches the metal container at his head. An army of mutant ants then begin charging toward the party. They come in hundreds, sprawling over the hills. Chaos ensues as everyone is running for their lives. A few lucky individuals make it away on their dirt bikes. When Lucas, Lisa, and Brian later arrive, they see that there were no survivors. The group get into their car in an attempt to drive off, but it won't start. Suddenly, a mutant ant comes and attacks Lisa from behind. The three jump out of the car and head to the motocross bikes. Lucas is on his own bike and Brian and Lisa are sharing one. As they are riding away, Brian is forced to make a decision as to whether he should cross a large gap in a ravine. He decides against it, causing them both to fall off the bike, narrowly missing the edge. The two of them begin conversation, in which Lisa states to Brian that she has a crush on him and no one else. This obviously makes Brian over the moon. However, this is short-lived as Lisa is promptly restrained and taken away by one of the mutant ants. As Lucas arrives soon thereafter, Brian hops on his bike and they begin their hunt to find Lisa. They track her down to a cave. After some exploring, leads to what appears to be the ant's nest. As they enter, they notice how the mutant ants have covered their victims up in a web-like material. After looking for Lisa for a while, Brian finally stumbles upon Lisa's body. He attempts to bring her back to consciousness by breaking the webbing, but it is sturdy and hard to free her from. During Brian's attempt to free Lisa, the mutant ants appear. Luckily for the boys, they are promptly shot by a mysterious man, who eventually turns out to be Dr. Renard, the man in the CCTV room earlier who explained what happened. Dr. Renard tells the boys that the only way to break Lisa free is by using a specialized tool. Unfortunately for them, the tool is back at the base. In light of this, the three decide to go to the base and get the specialized tool. As they approach, Renard pulls out a map, showing them various details about a specialized piece of equipment which can help kill the monsters. Before Renard has the chance to explain more, he's impaled by an ant, killing him instantly. Running for their lives, the boys use the map to lead themselves to an automated turret on the top of a small building. They learn that it only fires at the ants, not humans. After some time, they managed to obtain and utilize the special prototype defensive weapon. All they had to do was pull down a disguised switch. They find various specialized machine gun rifles, the tools needed to free Lisa from the web-like substance, and heavy-duty armor. As they leave the base, they stumble upon two dirt bikes. They promptly hop on them both and make their way to the cave to rescue Lisa and the others. When they arrive to the mutant ant's nest, Brian cuts Lisa free. She regains consciousness, and after Brian agrees with Lucas that he will lure the ants to the prototype weapons, and Lucas will work to free the others, Lisa and Brian get on the dirt bike and ride toward the specialized turret. As they approach the turret with a sea of ants chasing closely behind, the turret begins firing, killing all the ants behind them. They believe all the ants are dead, and after celebrating their victory together by exchanging various smiles, they are confronted by the biggest ant of them all, the Queen Ant. After spotting her at the top of the mountain, the two quickly ride off. They again are approaching the large ravine. This time, Lisa convinces Brian that they must jump. After sharing an intense kiss, they prepare to jump. Brian revs his dirt bike, and with a long run-up, successfully clears the gap. They land on foot on the other side, and the bike plunges into the ravine below them. The two then run for a truck which is in front of them. They get inside and attempt to drive off, but they are unable to. The queen ant has latched onto the back of the truck by employing her web. Lisa gets out of the car, and with the specialized rifle, fires a direct shot in the head of the ant, causing it to screech in pain and plunge to its death by falling into the ravine. Before the truck followed suit, Brian and Lisa launched themselves out of it, surviving the ordeal. Below them, a huge explosion goes off, implying that the large mutant queen is now dead. Celebrating their accomplishment, Lisa and Brian exchange a passionate kiss. During this time, Lucas has managed to free the other people entrapped in the nest. 
he creates a fire in the nest causing it to be destroyed, along with all of the ant's potential offspring. Both groups returned to the spot of the original party and celebrate. However, what the group will come to soon realize is there are more ants, and they are escaping from a secret room as they speak. Did you enjoy the video? Leave a comment below about what you thought of it. You can watch this movie from the links below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching Red Recaps. See you in the next video.